I can't really pinpoint one happy moment in my life. I can point an example of happy moments in my life, which would be when the feeling of just sitting and just everything being just perfect. You know, not, not necessarily perfection, but just comfortable within myself. Mm -hmm. And you sit there and you just feel genuinely happy inside. And there isn't anything that really caused it. Those are my happy moments. You know, now as, a, as an older person and as a parent, I really do like Cloverdale because it's small, you know, and, and it's a safe, it is a safe community. I mean, there's always going to be problems in anywhere you go. But um, as, when I was young, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. You know, I wanted to go live in, you know, even, even Santa Rosa, you know, my ideal place to live would probably be Los Angeles. My parenting skills are revolve around being raised by, you know, Mexican parents that didn't like the culture here. So it was it it was a struggle. It was a struggle. So that's the one thing that I that I've um, that I know. I mean, as soon as anybody asks me that question, it was it's it's hard being raised by, you know, parents that were born and raised in Mexico, and then you're sitting here, and they're in a different culture, and then they want to apply their rules on you. And it's, it sucks, you know, it's like you don't feel part of. Yeah, <laughs> slumber parties. I never was allowed to do slumber parties. You know, you had all, and, and you know, I know I'm being tape recorded, but you know, I mean, I'm gonna call them American. You have all these American kids having slumber parties. And I wanted to go. And it was like, no, you have your own house to sleep in. You don't need to be sleeping at anybody else's house. You know, and it was, it, I hated that, you know, and that's my, that's one thing that I wish I could have done is just gone to a simple slumber party. Lots of friends. I had great friends. I had um, um, amazing friends um, to a certain point, you know, to a point. Um, what happened, you know, I had, I, I, I still, to this, to this day, one of my bestest friends is from when I met her in Geyserville. And um, I still keep in touch with a lot of girls. They're, they're amazing people. Um, I lost a lot of friends also because of also race also. You know, I, I um, started dating an American and um, I had a, they gave me a choice whether I was gonna stick with him or I was gonna stick with them. So I stuck with him. So I lost a few friends, but the ones that were my true friends are still my friends. You know, and it, and it was a good choice. I mean, here I am, you know, 19 years later, and I'm still with the same guy. So I guess it was a good choice. Teachers to actually just care instead of just let me slip through the cracks, which is what happened to me. I truly believe that. So, you know, that just makes me a parent, and I'm a sister. I have two, two, I have three brothers, but one of them is 15 and a half. And so my focus on him has always been not let him slip through the cracks. Um, I, uh, if they could take me to Mexico all the time, I would have been happy. So I think, you know, that that's what they noticed. Um, I think, um, you know, they, they promised me a trip. You know, it was like the whole, you know, you want a quinceanera? A trip or a car? You know, I chose a car, never got it. But, <laughs> but, you know, it's like, it's like, I think, I think, I think we all get that, you know. But um, I, everything. Even when, even when they're totally, totally just irritating me and getting me so mad, I could just sit there being mad and still feel this love towards my girls. I have two daughters, and they're, they're awesome. Everything is just amazing about them. Is the discipline, is, is, is letting them be themselves, but yet being disciplined towards them, you know? Um, it's, you want the best for your children, but yet you know you have to build up boundaries. I think that's the hardest thing um, to do. You know, there's also the feelings, you know, it's like us being scared, you know, the fear, the unknown, the what ifs, you know, all those things are the toughest things about parenting. It's just always worrying. But um, it's, I think it's just, it's just raising a period. I mean, it's just, it's, it's hard just because you want the best for them, but you can't 
I have no control over that. I didn't know about it. I didn't, I wasn't a heavy, I mean, I just occasionally did them to fit in with my friends. That's why they didn't find out. But like I said, at 27, I turned to them as an escape of life. And two years later, I lost everything and ended up in trouble. You know, it's, you don't want to be in trouble. You know, it, it you know, my, my parents didn't find out, you know, anytime I would go out and party and do stupid things, you know, because I didn't really abuse it. Did you ever think about your future while you were doing it? I didn't care, you know, I just thought about the short, the short um, result. The short result is I'm going to fit in, my friends are going to like me, you know, it's like whatever decision I'm taking. I didn't think about the long term. It's a, long term is very important to think about. Don't do drugs. <laughs> don't do drugs. No, like honestly, I mean, don't fall into, into what other people are doing, you know, don't try to find the easy way out. You know, if you find an easy way out, it's probably not it's not that easy, yeah, you know. It's like if you find a way to do something and it's a struggle, just give yourself that challenge. Struggle to do it because you know in the, out the outcome is going to be a lot better. Um, just, you know, just really think about what you're doing. Check your motive, like why are you doing it? Are you doing it to fit in or are you doing it to make yourself happy? You know, that's what I would say. You know? And there's a lot of kids that, you know, are either getting into trouble, you know, like the whole gang thing, I did that, you know. I used to think I was so cool walking around Cloverdale with my little blue rag. You know, honestly, I grew up at it. I grew up, I grew up, you know. Um, I used to think it was cool to be like the partier. Well, I grew up, you know, but I only did that because I was following others. So I would suggest that you're just your own person, you know. And if somebody tells you, well, I'm not going to be your friend, just, you know, or I'm not going to, you know, think about what's really going to make you happy. And then just follow your heart. Hi, my name is Ashley. Hi, my name is Itzel Flores.